Hi friends, welcome to how PVC works. My name is Prashant Chede. I am a Microsoft Certified Solution Expert. And here I am going to deliver you the knowledge on uh, Microsoft Azure and I hope that will help uh, to help in your career and you will enjoy all the videos for this series. If you really like my videos and content uh, of the videos, so please you know click on the like button so that will motivate me to create a new uh, and more and more videos. And if you want the update for the upcoming video, so please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that will notify you whenever I will upload the new videos. Thank you so much. Hi friends and welcome to how PVC works. We are discussing about the Microsoft Azure training. Today we are going to discuss about the Microsoft Azure AD Connect. Uh, we are going to install the AD Connect on the on-premises Active Directory server and uh, we will you know uh, navigate all the uh, synchronization options and you know, how synchronization happen we will discuss about these things so my name is Prashant Chirde I am a Microsoft certified solution expert and below are my contact detail you can reach me on email Twitter and LinkedIn so Azure Active Directory is made up of three component first component is synchronization second one the ADFS it's an optional component and third one is the monitoring monitoring for the uh, Active Directory health if you see the diagram in a you know in a first uh, diagram it's showing that uh, there is uh, dir sync azure ad sync and fame plus azure ad connector uh, you know what exactly happening previously when uh, the class in a classic model uh, microsoft come with the directory sync so th this is the first tool for the uh, direct uh, ad sync for the on premises and the azure then uh, they come with the Azure AD sync that, that is the uh, newer version uh, for the synchronization and the then the you know FIM and Azure AD connect so nowadays it's in the combination of three these three tools and come up with the sync services if you check into the second uh, um, box it's showing that sync services this is the combination of all three services second option is adfs this is the optional optional option into the ad connect means you know if you are already configured the AD, uh, adfs uh, structure in on your on premises and, and you want to use that uh, services for the cloud authentication using the third party tool for the single sign on and multi factor so we can you know um, you know take the advantage of the services using the ad connect third one is the health uh, you know services and it's uh, help us to uh, provide the uh, active directory health rep and the synchronization service is uh, re mostly responsible to uh, to uh, you know seeing the object those are already uh, you know creating into the on premises active directory like you know users if you create the user if you know modify the user property if you created a group or if you add the member into the group and the other objects that you know, that need to be synced with the cloud active directory that is and it is basically a, a, a sync service so we'll you know move into into the demo part we'll you know log on to the azure portal we'll download the azure ad uh, connect and we'll configure the option so here i log into the uh, my active directory server this is the on-premises Active Directory servers running on the Windows Server uh, 2012 R2ED. Once you uh, navigate to the Azure Active Directory option, uh, you will uh, able to find out one option for the Azure AD Connect. You have to just click on this option. So it will show us the option from where we need to you know, download the Azure uh, AD Connect. Once you click here, so it will you know uh, open into the uh, new uh, uh, tab with the download links so you just need to you know, click on the download and you know run this program so for this particular demo i have already uh, downloaded the microsoft azure ad connect so this is the on premises uh, active directory servers and we have the uh, you know bunch of users the dummy users that i have created for this uh, demo purpose so we'll uh, you know check once we install the uh, ad connect how it will you know help us to log on to the azure active directory for the on-premises user 
so here is the you know installation file that i have already downloaded let's check into the property if it is locked or not so it is not not locked so just you know i'm just going to run this uh, application so it's in the uh, uh, welcome panel and we have to you know agree for the license and privacy notice from the microsoft and need to click on the continue uh, so in this pan uh, panel you know in a express setting is showing that uh, what are the options uh, this uh, while installing the uh, ad connect what uh, exactly it's going to be do it's uh, you know as saying that configuring the synchronization of identities in to uh, in the current ad forest for the uh, pv chade uh, configure the password synchronization or from the on premises ad to the azure ad so that you know the password will be synced with the azure ad start the initial synchronization means you know whenever we install the installation will be completed it will start the synchronization first synchronization with the azure active directory and in a first synchronization it will uh, synchronize all the attributes and enable auto upgrade and if you want to learn more about this express setting so you can you know click on this link so you will uh, uh, get more knowledge about the expressing if you know click on the customize uh, um, options so, uh, customization option that you know where you want to install your application and if you have the sql server want to and you want to integrate with the sql server so you can you know click this option and the if you have to you know already service account um, created into active directory for the ad sync so you can you know provide those detail here so i'm not going to you know uh, going with the custom option because anyhow it will ask all these things uh, in express setting as well so i'm going to you know, click on the express setting so is it is asking about the global administrator credential the same thing that we are going to know uh, supplying into the customized menu so here i am providing the uh, administrator password you know azure uh, user those are already created on the azure so i have one user that we have created into the your first session pvc so i am username that is uh, pvc user1 at the date pv childe dot in that is our domain and the password for this particular user to log on once you click on the next button it will verify the credential with the microsoft azure active directory uh, yeah it uh, validate the detail for the user after that we have to provide the active uh, uh, active directory domain service enterprise administrator credential means you know this credential is uh, from the on premises active directory so here i'm going to provide the uh, administrative credential and the password for the administrative account and click on the next uh, so uh, it's showing that ready to configure so once you click on the install you will be following uh, you know following action will be happen you know install the uh, synchronization engine uh, engine on this uh, uh, on premises ad servers and configure the ad uh, azure ad connector and configure the pvc or uh, pvchade dot in uh, connector means you know connector in between the both uh, uh, azure active directory and on premises active directory it enable the password synchronization and enable the auto upgrade and what are the option those are available while we are uh, click on the uh, um, in the custom the same option that you know showing here so i'm just going to install uh, click on the install so it will you know configure all uh, this uh, option on the server so to synchronize all these thing it will take time so i will you know pause the video and i will be get back after you know all, all the configuration will be done so uh, you know still the uh, password synchronization is going on it's showing the synchronized uh, uh, synchronization setting so meanwhile i will you know uh, show you the uh, how it is uh, you know work from from the azure you know how it look like from the azure portal if you know 
go into the all users so you, uh, you will able to find out that uh, on premises directory it you know it's create one ob object member for the on premises ad so uh, it will you know uh, create created this object for the synchronization means whenever the synchronization happen in between uh, both the directory so it will be responsible for that uh, you know this member so so let's see on the servers still the uh, configuration is running on uh, so we'll you know pause the video and I will be get back once it is you know completely done with the all configuration as you check uh, the configuration is uh, you know completed successfully and uh, it show with one warning in uh, in uh, in second line it's showing that the active directory recycle bin is not enabled on your uh, domain controller so it's and the ignorable uh, warning so don't you know you know bother more about this so uh, apart from this you know everything is configured from the servers and uh, our synchronization ad synchronization is you know completed successfully so i mean you know just clicking on the exist button we'll go into the azure portal and see that you know how it's looking for the uh, users and groups so friends once you uh, click on the azure active directory uh, and if you, you know navigate to the azure azure ad connect uh, it's showing the status uh, the uh, for the azure ad connect it's enable and last things uh, is showing that you know more than one day ago so configuration is done let's you know move into the um, user container so that we can you know find out all the users are uh, synced with the uh, azure ad or not once I click on the all user, so if you are uh, you are able to you know, find out that this the dummy user those I am created on the um, on premises Active Directory server, so those are uh, sync with the Azure Active Directory. Let's uh, I will you know show you all these user. Uh, once you know click on the you know, open Active Directory users and computer, so these are all user those are those sync with the, after our synchronization with the Azure Active Directory so it's around the uh, 500 users those we are sync with the Azure Active Directory if you know click on the load more button so you will find out that you know all those users from the on-premises is uh, getting sync with the Azure Active Directory so this is it for this particular session from my side hope you enjoy the session and we will get into the uh, more uh, uh, topics those are related with the active directory like you know uh, how to how we can you know, configure the active directory domain service and those are the services integrated with the active directory azure active directory will meet into that session so thank you so much guys have a good day